Okay, we are live. We're live. Pretty sure. Per usual on our live events, I always like to give a few seconds, minutes, things for people to arrive, get the notifications out there, allow for things. As always, let me know how the audio is. We're testing out the microphone again. Uh, yesterday's stream, we streamed some Star Wars The Old Republic, and the microphone went out partway through. So, again, let me know how the audio is, how we're doing there. We are beginning. We're going to be doing a book review on this book right here. Wow. It is that big. It isn't. This is, this is, the, there's your comparison. That's, <clears throat> and that's not just because I have a big cup of coffee. That is, I mean, that's, that's tiny. Okay. Sorry, I tried to choke down some food. Uh, very unprofessional <laughs> of me. But I have been working on a project that we're going to talk about before I get into the book review because I don't script these things. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. If that changes, please let me know. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Aurelia. So news, I have been working on the Patreon, and it is up and running, and it is live. But because of that, I have forgotten to eat because I am one of those people. When I start focusing th on things, I <laughs> I do that. Uh, working on a couple of videos, new introduction video for the channel. Similar, but new, updated, and a new introduction video for the Patreon page, which eventually I'm going to have a link on. But if you go to our channel, if you go to the, the channel, the banner, there's links on the side of it for the Facebook and, and Patreon, all that stuff's up there. So if you need a quick link now or now-ish before I get to it, then it is up there. Audio is much better. That is good to hear. And thank you for joining us again, Base Jedi. Loud and clear in Ireland. All right, we have, we have mid-United States. We have Germany, if I remember correctly, and we have Ireland. All right. All right, everybody. Ooh, green bow tie. Pretty color. Thank you very much. This is uh, kind of the, the, you know, the, the, the outfit that I went with for the videos uh, that I was working on today. And so, yeah. So let's get into this book review, shall we? Let's do that. We, We'll get into other discussions and topics after we do the book review. As always, if we have time for live chats and things of that nature, uh, I like to sit and chat with you all and talk Jedi, Zoism, all that fun stuff. But uh, nerd culture in general. But let's let's uh, talk about this book. Comes in this little case. It's fun. And has a cool little. Thing in it. Look at it. That's neat. That's Jedi stuff right there, huh? That's fun. This thing is tiny. What is it? Here's my phone. Here's this book. <laughs> you can take this thing anywhere. So is it valuable for Jedi philosophy? Should you, as a Jedi, uh, purchase this wisdom from the light side of the Force? The Jedi path. Here we go. Let's do a little reading here. Following the Jedi path means using one's connection to the Force for selfless protection of the galaxy. And then it goes into movie quotes. It's doing movie quotes here. And you get movie quotes with, with pictures from the movies or the TV shows as uh, I think we had. Where's one? I'm pretty sure I saw Clone Wars picture. Or here's one. Uh, Rebels. So you have uh, Kanan Jarrus right there. And yeah, Germany here. All right. Um, so <clears throat> you will learn to preserve your life force. And so manifest a consciousness which will allow you to commune with the living after death. 
and that's uh, the spirit of Qui-Gon from the Clone Wars, but it has a picture of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obviously, we haven't seen Qui-Gon yet, but I'm really hopeful that Qui-Gon is going to make appearance in the Kenobi series. Man, better have it. Uh, better have it. Hey, we got another Ireland out here, too. All right, what's going on? Irish Jedi. Killing it. All right. So we have the High Republic. So let's get to the review. Is this thing worth it? A true leader always leads from the front. Anakin Skywalker, the Clone Wars. Jocasta knew the Force is eternal. It cannot end. It cannot be stopped. Not so long as life exists. And that was actually from a really good comic series. If you're into comic books or if you want to explore more of what happened after Order 66 with the Jedi, Star Wars Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, that comic book series, explores some of the Jedi. And uh, if you, her appearance in the movie in episode two is really you know, uh, off putting, <laughs> you know, it's a little arrogant, a little comes off that way. Uh, but her character development in the comic series is actually really, really good. It'll make you a fan. I'm pretty sure it'll make you a fan. You'll be wanting to, uh, do some cosplay at the next star Wars convention, 2022 Anaheim, California, star Wars celebration. Come on out, have some fun. It's going to be star Wars fun, but absolutely. Uh, I recommend that comic book series. It's got some good uh, Jedi gems in there. And if you are a fan of Darth Vader, if you're a fan of Anakin Skywalker, it really does take on its journey. But what does that comic book series have to do with this? Is this book worth it? I think it is. There is, for as small as this is, there are a lot. I should actually get closer. There are a lot of pages in here. And they are just, you know, quick quotes. The Force will be with you always kind of things. These are really just quick one-offs, you know, and not all of them are going to be relevant to maybe if you're struggling as a Jedi or if you want some philosophy, maybe not all of these will be relevant to you. Again, when we talked about the book previous, The Jedi Mind by Amy Ratcliffe, we talked about how that could be just a great thing for a meditation where you can just flip open to a page, do a quick exercise within the book and read that page. Uh, same with the Jedi, uh, the situational Jedi. There we go. That's the book I'm thinking of. Same with the situational Jedi. That's one of those things you can look if you're dealing with something very particular, such as anxiety, which we do have a Jedi verse society video on anxiety coming up soon if you're dealing with that you can open that book up and look at how our philosophy deals with that also the book uh, be more yoda right that was a good one where again it's quotes and just something that you can be mindful of and think on and, and maybe meditate on reflect on all of those are really good books this one doesn't quite live up to that level but it has just a lot of good stuff in here it has like the Bendu from uh, from Rebels, and it just has a lot of sources on the Force, just quotes, really, uh, just quotes and stuff on the Force, on being a Jedi, and that can be helpful, it can be nice, it can be fun, also it's a little fan thing, you know, like, it can help add to your collection of Star Wars knowledge, uh, it's good uh, that way as well, but, and I think you can... I think you can apply the same meditation method, right? Like you can be like, I want to do a meditation. I'm not really sure what to think on or what to focus on, what my focal point should be for my meditation. And you can just, you know, flip through. Okay, we hit one and we have, you must not grow too attached, too fond, too in love with life as it is now. Those emotions are valuable and should not be suppressed but you must learn to rule them padawan least they rule you and that's from the comic book series uh kane in the last padawan also a good one also one i recommend very interesting to to go through the jedi journey that way a lot of philosophy there not a lot well, not a lot i think you know but there is some good jedi moments there and it is worthwhile you know again if you're into that kind of medium 
if you like that kind of thing, it's not worthwhile, or it is worthwhile. This one, I just, I like it. It's quick, it's easy, it goes right in your pocket. It's not big at all. And you can just, you know, you're just gonna have fun with that. I put this on the outside because then you can just remove it pretty easily. But it can also, this can also be a bookmark if you wanna just bookmark where you're at. It's a quick read, it's a quick read, but there is a lot of pages there. There's a lot of pages for as small as this thing is. It is packed with some good stuff and it's all you really need if you're just looking for that inspiration. If you're just looking for a little Jedi philosophy to inject into your life, this is worthwhile. Uh, it's not that expensive. It is a nice collection. But again, if if I'm going to order it, if I'm going to put it into a rank or something like that, I might put the Jedi Mind or Be More Yoda above this. But this is definitely fun for fans and philosophical people alike, depending on what you're looking for. I highly recommend. It's it's fun. And you can carry this around. This, this can come with you everywhere. This is not going to take up space in any of your things uh, unless, you know, you're wearing a dress and it doesn't have pockets, which I feel like that's changing. I feel like we're coming around uh, on things. That hit home. Uh, the quote, the life one. I'm guessing I didn't. Uh, I didn't get to. The, I didn't get to your comment uh, in a timely manner. So I'm guessing there. But yeah, if you have questions, comments, concerns on this, or uh, let's do the book first. If you have anything on the book, if you have any questions about it, or if there's something specific you would like to know, let me know, and we can discuss that. If not. We can open up the chat. If you're done, if you're here for the book review, if you're here for the book review, I recommend it. Uh, this is fun. This is good. Uh, this is a, this is a fun book, packed full of uh, Jedi Star Wars y quotes and pictures, and it's fun. And I I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't know who wouldn't want it. This is a uh, baby Yoda sized. Wait, whoa. I bet it would fit. And my little Yoda tin just might. Uh, if you have like, I, I feel like you could probably, if anybody has a baby Yoda or even a Yoda one, like uh, this dude up here, I bet you could hang that right off his hands right there. And it'd be the sacred text as how easy is the book to read? Uh, so all the one that I bought, I don't know how diverse Lucas's Lucas films. Uh, what's this got to pop up. There we go. I don't know how diverse Lucas films publications are. So I don't know how they come across in other languages or if they're releasing the book in other languages. So I can't uh, work off of that assumption, but for an uh, English speakers, if you're, if, if English is a language, you know, and a language you read, and it's not something you have trouble with, it's very easy. It's it's really just quotes. You're really just going through it. It's it's fast and easy. Like, here's a, just an example, right? So that's, most quotes aren't even that much wording. And I'll just read this one out loud because there's. I doubt I'll get the camera to pick it up. Ever since the golden age of the Jedi, the High Republic, the Jedi have established a legacy of justice and, and goodwill so so yeah so is this um so it's really easy to I'll, I'll get to your question here in a second connor uh it's really easy to read it's it's super easy to read it's just quotes really mostly just quotes and pictures so i mean it's really easy to go through it's really easy to read if they're bite-sized nuggets it's not long but again it's not story driven it's not anything like that. So like the Jedi mind, like be more Yoda, you are really just getting this for uh, chopped up bits of Star Wars stuff. That's just littered throughout throughout the me different media and different fiction. And like I said, there's certain comic book uh, quotes in here. So if you don't like comic books or if you don't watch like the Rebel show, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't watch those shows or something, you might miss out on certain quotes but this thing's got you covered. So, arrive late. Could you give the full title, please? The full title is Star Wars, 
the tiny book of Jedi. That's it. That's it. Right there. The tiny book of Jedi. Good Monday morning from Nagoya, Japan. Taryn here. Tar Karen, Taryn, Taryn. Ah, I'm getting there. Oh, ah, I, you, you meant, uh, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Connor. Uh, you meant like the font size. Okay, that's my ball. Uh, my fault. I misinterpreted uh, that. It is, I have good eyesight. I have 20 20 vision. I don't have, I don't wear con. <clears throat> Pro tip for streaming and making videos. Do not try to ch choke down granola bars <clears throat> before you go live because you haven't eaten all day. Because it's going to bother your throat for the rest of the video. Okay. So, um, I have good vision. So, it's hard for me to, to say. Um, but if I can get, like, that's, obviously, that's my thumb. Like, that's the size of the font. Um, when you get down to the very bottom there, that's where it gets really more difficult to read. If you have trouble with vision and reading the bottom where it's, where it's listing the source, where it's listing, where the quote comes from, that's going to be your, that's going to be your main challenge. But I don't know if the font level, uh, as is for the quote itself, I don't know if that's going to be difficult to read. You know, um, everybody's a little bit different. Everybody has that challenges. I don't know if they offer it in audio form. I hope they do. I would prefer, I would really like them to do something like this in an audio book just so it can get out there. That's so most people just prefer that as well as a medium for, for reading books or listening to books and getting that information. They just do better with that uh, listening instead of reading. And so I hope it's out there. I haven't looked into whether or not it's an audio book or on Audible or anything like that. But if someone does, if someone's checked it out, uh, let me know. But yeah, so I can't really speak on it because I I just don't have that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I'm really bad with that. But that's about the font size. So, you know, that you're looking at if if you find it, if you find that difficult, then yeah, so. Um, let me see. Just this. Uh, we'll get you a list of streaming pro tips later. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll probably, I've probably already broken them all and I probably will break them all in the future. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be drinking coffee during your stream or really eating or drinking or anything during your stream, but, uh, you know, uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, so, okay. So once again, to recap, the tiny book of Jedi is something I do recommend. I did have fun with this. This is something that's fun and it can add to your philosophical base of Jedi understanding. Um, you know, so, so I do recommend it. Uh, I do think it's, I, I do think it's fun. Uh, but again, that's a budget based, that's a uh, quality based, that's, can you read that small? You know, that's an excellent point. Uh, so, and if it's available, hopefully it's available on audio. Uh, I really hope so. Uh, thanks. No problem at all. I'm glad I, I you know, uh, wish I could answer it a bit better. You should write another Opie, <laughs> a new pocket size uh, edition. I have looked into, I have looked into, writing uh pocket sized editions the problem with most self publishers is they don't allow you to get into because uh, my first book that i ever wanted to write uh, was the tier one jedi foundation thing it's a really short book it's like ten dollars on amazon or something stupid i don't recommend it uh but it's really thin and it's really small and you could technically fit it in your pocket but that was the smallest size i could get right um uh, but Speaking of that, we are working on another book. If you follow me on Patreon, and I already got three followers. What's going on? So shout out to my three uh, Patreon uh, supporters so far, uh, which is uh, Samuel Jocasta, Adam Regeri. I hope I'm saying these right. I am horrible at pronunciation. We know this. Uh, 
I will work on it. <laughs> I promise. And you're always free to correct me on anything. Uh, and then Bear Qui-Gon is uh, also uh, one of our one of the Patreons. But on there, we do have a list of books that I am working on. That are, I mean, literally working on. They are being written in. They are being added to. They are on the list. There is like an order of publications and when I want to get them done and things of that nature. And I would... I would really love to do a pocket-sized edition if I find a if I find a uh, self-publisher that allows me to get way more creative with that. Best believe I will be putting out a uh, I will be putting out something like that. Uh, talking about uh, Patreon's Ray Leah, not to throw out, was the original the first, uh, so she deserves a shout out as well. Uh, don't want to forget people. Drop a like, people. <laughs> drop a like. Uh, drop a like. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, or not. Or dislike. Engagement. Engage. You, you know, leave your comments. Subscribe. Block. I don't, you know, whatever makes you happy. That's what we say at the end of the video. Whatever makes you happy. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Show some engagement. So, like, get involved. Jump in it. Jump in it. Um done i don't know what you done and did but all right <laughs> ah skull cold once again uh so scold has twitch uh she's on twitch she's a twitch streamer she'll be streaming tonight for those that are interested in watching gaming if you're on twitch if you uh appreciate gaming channels you can go ahead and give her a follow it costs nothing to give her a follow uh if she's gonna if she's gonna do this then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna promote. So uh, you, if you are on Twitch, even if you, if it's not content you uh, particularly follow, why not give a follow anyways? Because that costs nothing. Support our fellow content creators, everybody. If you're out there too and you do something, if you stream, let me know, because I'm more than happy to give you a follow and and. and uh, I done dropped a like. Oh, right. Okay. There we go. I can follow along. I get it. I'm with it. Come on. Now. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you guys are dropping likes and I'm glad you guys are appreciating the content. But we do have more. If So this is done. If you're here for the book review, hopefully I feel like I've covered all the questions on it. If not, feel free to drop another question into the chat and I'll, I'll address it the best that I can. Obviously, I didn't write it. Obviously, I didn't do it. So... So, so that is my thing. What is going on? <laughs> you are the greatest, my friend. I love all your content. Read, <laughs> read your book and loved it. Keep up the hard work. And so, thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. Ernesto, I appreciate it. I, I, I do. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like the book. I really do. Um, we are working on some more. As I said, Patreon, $1 a month gets you all access to that. If you're looking to support the channel, if you're looking to support me and future books and future books, as well as our musical compilations that we like to put together here on the channel, uh, meditations, these live streams, whether the book reviews for this, I do recommend it. It is fun. Uh, but again, if your budget, if your budget's tight, it's not a necessary buy, right? It's not necessary, but it is fun. Uh, so I do recommend it. But Thank you, Ernesto. That's truly like I, I truly appreciate it. But you know, like uh, one dollar on Patreon gets you all that stuff. So like, you know, if you if you guys want to support, you can do that. And it has a list. I've already put up a list of books that we are working on, and I'm going to involve all all members of that on polls on what we're going to work on next and what you would like to see within the books as well and i said if we can do a pocket sized edition that's definitely going to be a community collaboration like what would you want to see in that book what you know whether it's something similar to the jedi mind or something similar to the situational jedi or something like the jedi circle updated we will we'll discuss it together and we'll we'll do we'll do this collaboration together um Oh, I am getting behind in the chat. Okay. Oh, wow. Not to be rude. I just kind of assumed I was the only girl here. Shouldn't assume. Uh, no, there's actually, um, I'm not, you know, I don't know everybody's, you know, gender pronouns, but I know that, uh, I know that we have a, a pretty diverse group. We're around the world. I, I, we're pretty good. We're pretty good on, uh, on that. 
Um, but I'm, yeah, you're not alone. And if you ever feel that way, there we go. Uh, I love the Jedi fiction and Star Wars, but living the Jedi life daily has brought my life to another level. As it should, right? Like, as it should. And bringing philosophy into our life. It's about living your inspiration. It's about being able to do that thing where you're like, this inspires me, so why not live it? And that can be applied to across, like across nerd culture, right? No matter what inspires you, you can look at it, dig into it, and kind of bring practices and traits into your life that, you know, other places like other self-help or whatever, they'll tell you, oh yeah, you need to do this, you need to do that. But without context, without meaning, it's kind of hard to bring those habits into your life, like, you know, doing exercise and all that. That's time consuming and all that. Um, excuse me again, again, bad streaming practices, shame on you. But yeah, so um, yeah, if you can find that inspiration that brings you up, excellent, excellent. Join, uh, thank you, Raylia, the OG who supported me back. And when I had, I had the idea for a Patreon way back when, and I tried to put together this with like 10 tiers and all this stuff that you get and all these benefits. And, uh, you know, I just don't want to do that. So it's a dollar. It's one tier. It's one dollar uh, a month for that tier. You get all the benefits. And it really is about community collaboration and us building this channel and the content together and getting more videos of what you want to see. Some of the until I can do it full time. And I don't know if we'll ever get to that position. I don't think we'll ever get there. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Right. That would be the dream. But. If uh, until we get to that point, right, uh, there will be votes on what content do you want to see next this week? Do you want a musical compilation? If so, do you want Star Wars? You want meditation? Like, what do you want? And then we're going to do that. If you want Jedi versus society and things of that nature. And what the heck? And we got another one. Anthony Dingman, $10. Not sure why I didn't do this sooner. You've been great so far for long. Uh, you're appreciated. You're appreciated. This is ridiculous. This, this, you're appreciated. This is appreciated. Um, truly, thank you very much. I do. I, it's humbling. It's. It's. I, I don't. I'm. I'm learning the gratitude thing. Right. Like I'm. I'm really bad at it. But uh, we do have. We have goals on the Patreon, not. Uh, not tiers, and like the very first goal. I don't think it's even up yet. I don't think I've published it yet. But the very first goal is to remove that this the, i can't i'm bad with this this thing here uh the stream yard logo uh, if we can get up to a certain tier it's not that high or a certain number of supporters which again not that high uh that gets removed and we get to stream on multiple platforms uh, i don't know if that's an interest to any of you but there it is we can expand it to like facebook or something like that we could stream at the same time on youtube and on facebook so try to get to different platforms if you have a preference on platforms. But thank you very much. It is appreciated. Dollar a month gets you there. And it, again, it's polls, it's it's discussions, it's shout outs, it's producer credits. You will get your name at the end of every video that I edit and put together. If we do lives, I will like to shout you out uh, personally as I did before. Uh, so I like to do that. I wanna give you guys credit. I want to give you guys because this is this is um, no nothing exists. It's a community. Nothing exists, you know, without without you. And I think that's always important to know. Even in the Jedi community, when I did the Jedi community stuff, you know, administrators, the creators of the website would get this big head. They would get this big ego, and they would forget what makes a site. What makes a forum active is the people it's the it's the audience it's the people who are involved it's the community that's what really makes it so so thank you you are pre, uh, appreciated um so that where's the patreon link um i think i can hang on hang on i, I, I got the, i got you i got you wait boop hang on i got you uh paste bam all right i put it in the chat uh, for the link, but it's also on the banner. If you go to our channel on YouTube, the banner has some buttons on the, on the side, on the, yeah, down in the corner. And those have like to our Facebook website, things like that, but it had uh, to the books on Amazon, 
you know, uh, again, you don't have to use Amazon. Not everybody's happy with Amazon for good reasons. So you don't have to use them, but it has the links to the books and the titles. So that way it's easier to search if you're looking for a particular book. Uh, but the Patreon link is up, up with those as well. Uh, thank you for making that possible, Opie. I, you know, accessibility, man. I'm all for it. I think we we can all do this together and and have fun fun with it. I just looked them up by name and found it there. Yes, if you look up Opie McLeod, uh, the same as our YouTube channel. It's actually why I moved away from the name Jedi Living, because really this is you know my production, but it's also my my nonsense, my pontification, it, and I want to include Zoism more. So, uh, and I know not, it's probably no one knows what that is unless you've been watching this channel for a little bit and heard me spew about it. Uh, but I want to bring those things in more too. I want to bring in some of my other nerd culture, such as Darkhawk, uh, Moon Knight, things of that nature. I'll probably bring in, in, in things of that nature as well. Who knows? But, you know, we'll see where the channel goes. A uh, dollar a month, say less, <laughs> I'm gay. Uh, yeah. It's a dollar a month. I want everybody in there. I want accessibility. Uh, I know things are tough right now. And, and even outside of that, like the capitalistic nature of the world uh, that most countries deal with, not everybody has that. You know, when you're paying for water, <laughs> you know, when you're paying for electricity and heat and gas and things like that, uh, you know, I don't believe in, in making big tiers or, or things like that. Like $10 for some people that can seem like nothing, right? But for other people, they, they just don't have that $10. Um, some people don't even have a dollar. You know, it, it is literally budgeted that closely. And I can understand that. So um, I just wanted to do that. I wanted to do something simple. And if we can get enough people on board, the same result happens, right? It's just about getting, you know, it's it's quantity. If we can get enough people on board and, and doing this project together and liking the content that we create here, then then we got something. Then we got something uh thanks really yeah she's always helpful um i'm a caveman where's pay where's the patreon i need a link uh it is in the i i, I put it in there i think i took care of it all right what do we got go i have a panic disorder and your meditations have literally cut on my xanax thank you so much i'm happy to hear that first of all thank you guys are um thank you for the donation truly that's uh and that, that, that uh, thanks. But the fact that they help, I mean, that's, that's what it, that's, 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 that's it, right? Like doing the practices of the Jedi and, and, and kind of taking these things into our lives. That's the point that we should see results. And that's why we have the APBP test. Is it applicable, practical, beneficial, and positive? And that applies not just to the Star Wars fiction, if we're going to use it, but also to Jedi philosophy and also our meditations. Does it help? Is it beneficial to your life? And the fact that it is, uh, the fact that it is uh, makes me really happy and I'm glad for that. So, so we're definitely going to do, we're going to do more meditations. I was working on one currently, but I think, that's, I think it's going to come out next week. Yeah, I think it's going to come out next week, but we do have a meditation. We have a couple meditations in the works, so uh, those are going to come out. I want to continue those. Let me know, and if you could do it on, you could do it wherever, but let me know. If you leave a comment on the video or something like that, leave a comment or on any video, let me know which, which videos really help you, uh, what style. Like, is it the whispering ones or is it the, you know, or is it the, the guided ones or is it the ones where I shut up and just let the music play, you know, like, let me know what kind of meditations really speak to you and we'll do that. Um, but yeah, geez, guys, um, thank you so much. But yeah, dollar a month, knock this stuff off, <laughs> knock this stuff off and, and just do a dollar a month. All right. Uh, here's the, here's the Patreon link, by the way. Oh, but yeah. You're doing such a great job. I am very happy to support you on it. Uh, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I do. I, honestly, I, I want to I wanna see the channel grow and I want to see us make content that uh, speaks to everybody. I'm not a person that focuses on one thing. I'm just not. It's not how my brain works. I'm not someone who's just going to make this a meditation channel. But 
you know, and I'm not someone who's just going to make it like a live stream channel. I'm not someone who's going to make it just a gaming channel. I want to do, I'm a person that has like a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. And I just like that diversity and that variety. And that way we can, we can explore things. So, so uh, if that works, if that, if you, if you're all aboard that we could do this thing and, and, and do that. Uh, and then again, anybody who supports on Patreon, you're going to get full credit when we publish the books it's on it's on the rewards thing but when we publish the books i'm gonna have you in this special acknowledgement section uh a hundred percent you know uh, i want everybody listed there and if we get into it I, I don't know my delusions of grandeur right if we get a long list if it's a whole page that's fine but i i really want to uh, acknowledge everybody because this is a team effort you know uh yeah i put in most of the work but but at the same time i get that's the the privilege of uh getting you know override controls you know like if i feel like making a meditation next week that's what we're doing that's what's coming out okay here we go are you ever going back to discord or are you per uh purely focusing on on patreon right now what i'm thinking on this is actually having a discord channel as one of the patreon perks I just don't use Discord that much. I know it's a, a the one of the more popular uh, communication tools and, and ways to stay connected currently, and I support that. And it's important to be on board with that stuff. I'm not as much as I am a curmudgeon about chains. Like it took me a real long time to get a cell phone. Uh, as much, and I wouldn't even be on social media if it wasn't for the books, because like you need you know you need to. Um, you need to like promote and stuff like that. If it wasn't even for the books, like I probably wouldn't even be on social media. So I am technically a curmudgeon in that way, but I'm not against like new things. Like I'm not against TikTok. I'm not against uh, Discord. I'm yeah. If if there's interest, we'll talk about it on the Patreon. But if there's interest in a Discord channel where we can uh, get together and talk or whatever, then then yeah, I'm I'll probably. I mean, technically, I still have an account and stuff on there. I just rarely have a reason to check in. I just have, I rarely have a reason to, to talk unless I'm doing a screen share um, or something like that. Right. Unless I'm watching a movie with people, but maybe we could do that. Maybe that could be something like once a month, we'll watch a star Wars movie or, or maybe when the Kenobi series, uh, uh, you know, kicks in, we can, we can have a uh, live discussions as we're watching, you know, the Kenobi, uh, episodes together or something like that you know who knows we're gonna do stuff we're gonna have fun with it but i will see i'm not i'm just not bad I, like i my time is on this you know like i don't even have i forgot to eat all day <laughs> because i've been working on patreon and videos and in and, and the channel and stuff like that so like so dividing my attention to discord is you know it's iffy but uh we'll definitely look into it definitely look into it right like I'm not dismissing it at all. Much love is deserved, brother. You make great stuff for all of us. Stay humble and never quit. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I don't think I'll quit. I don't think uh, that's really not. I just have it. I, it's in the blood, you know. <laughs> like it's there. I want to do it. It's just a matter of having the resources uh, to get it done. This world isn't. Uh, the society we currently live in isn't great for the production of content on a consistent basis. We've seen that with the pandemic where people had a lot of extra time on their hands and they, oh, the content creation went up, right? The creativity that people had the time to, to put into things that they enjoy went up. And we saw that and we've seen like if you give people the time and means to be creative, people are creative and they do wonderful things with it. So but it's about having the resources to do that. And I'm just I've never lived my life in step or in flow with current society. Uh, I've never really followed the timeline of society like by any major uh by any metric which you measure American society advancement and what you're supposed to be focusing on and your age on when you're supposed to get things done. It's just never been me. 
like I've always done things on my own level and stuff like that. So um, I will always it, and humble is easy. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I have a I got a whole baggage of childhood stuff to keep <laughs> it, it keeps me uh, humble. The, the real trick is working on it and staying neutral, staying true, staying honest. Like if we're making good content, it's hard for me to say that. That's why I do not promote my books. Uh, it's why it's really, except for this, this one right here, back here, bam. Uh, you know, the situational Jedi is one that, and, and it's, I still have issues with it, but it's my step of learning how to accept that this is okay work, you know, like we're doing okay stuff here. We're, and as, uh, you know, as you know, previously, like, like this is what it's all about. And that makes me humble, like double. And I'm not talking like this area, uh, the, I'm not talking the money per se. I'm talking the, you know, that the meditations help like that keeps me humble and that keeps me going. And that keeps me, you know, um, you know, stay in that way, you know? So hopefully I hope, you know, you make a positive impact on people's lives, knowing and <laughs> accepting, uh, are two different things, but I try, I try, uh, mainly I just want to, it's, I mean, like, that's what I'm, I, I want to do, you know, I want to leave a positive impact. Uh, that's, I think, I think we all do. I think we all want to live a more peaceful, positive, impactful life and leave something on, uh, you know, leave the mark on society saying that, no, we're, we're done with this. We're done with this like negative, you know, dumping our garbage on other people's property kind of thing. We're each going to, clean up our own porch and encourage our neighbors to clean up their own porch and, and together if we each clean our own porches right the whole world will be clean and we can we can make that effective change you know but it takes it takes us together to work on that and and be a part of that so um yeah and if you guys have ideas you can always leave oh, i'm gonna get to that hang on what i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to that. uh patreon joined discord is a great idea helps network all right. Um, I will. I know a scold cold is uh, an old hat at uh, Discord, so she'll be able to help me out with that. And I'll look at. Uh, I'll look. At, I know Patreon. When I was setting up Patreon, I know they have a thing for Patreon members only that you can set up a specific channel. So as soon as you become, so everybody who's been a member, or, who, or as soon as you sign up, you get access to that Discord channel. So. We can, um, we can, and, and thank you for joining. Uh, I appreciate it. Don't let me, don't let me let that slip by. Um, whoops, getting ahead of my chats. Okay, here we go. Those Jedi fitness videos. Summertime is coming. Capitalize, right? <laughs> Those Jedi fitness. I, uh, yeah. It, what I'm thinking about doing is the Jedi hour is actually taking. Because look at this. Our live streams. We're already at 45. Uh, well, we're getting close to 45 minutes. I'm looking to do the Jedi study hour, I'm trying to bring that back, make that maybe a live event. Uh, you can't see it, but like right off camera here, I actually have uh, workout equipment, which is basically like a pull-up bar, push-ups, uh, dips, things like that. So it's all body weight kind of stuff. So we might, we might include that in a, we might start doing the Jedi, yeah, the Jedi fitness or the Jedi study hour, right? Where it was 20 minutes fitness, 20 minutes, uh, you know, philosophical exploration, like maybe pulling open this, this book, which again, uh, I do recommend <laughs> it is fun if you have the budget for it. And if you have the eyesight for it, right. That's a, those are important, uh, important things, but then, you know, just grabbing something and, you know, then we can grab something and discuss it for 20 minutes and then, and then we can do that. And then we can have a 20 minute meditation. Then we end it with 20 minute meditation. There you go. Most of the Jedi practices done in one hour. Bam. You can move on with your day. And there we go. Um, I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Help me out with that Patreon and, and uh, Discord. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Zoism. Zoism. You can actually. Uh, so. Here's what I like about it. 
It's spelled the first way, Z-O-I-S-M, right? Zoism, but it actually relates to Z-O-E-T-I-C, zoetic, uh, actually plays a part in zoism. And if you're asking what that is, it's basically, so Jediism, Jedi philosophy, the stuff we do here for, for the channel, it tiptoes a line. It tiptoes a very close line with Disney and Lucas. And there is a real sense of, uh, and for some people, for some people, they just don't want to be tied to Star Wars and they don't want to go there. And if for any reason like Lucas or Disney comes in to put the kibosh on my books or the content we create or anything like that, if they come in to you know, put in the boot, which can happen, then there is Zoism. And Zoism is a philosophical religion, technically. And the reason why, it, but it could be either. You could follow it as a religion or you could follow it just philosophically. You don't have to follow the religious principles. And what do I saying about that? What's the difference there? Is that religious principles, we're talking about creation of the universe, what happens when you die uh, in afterlife, and the concept of a deity or godhead, right? Jediism doesn't have an overarching view of that. It's very much about spiritual exploration in which you get to define that. So that's why you can have Jedi who are Christian and Jedi who are Buddhist and things of that nature. But with Zoism, it's about the Zo. And, and Zo is actually pretty similar to, uh, oh, man, I can never pronounce it right. Not Pathion, uh, Pathian, Pathianism. I, I can't say that right. But basically, the idea that God isn't a uh, a figure, isn't a personification, but instead is is the universe. Right? Uh, the universe is the manifestation of quote unquote God. Like, and it's an uh, it's actually if you want to look it up, Albert Einstein was actually a big proponent a big proponent of that belief, not of his uh, Jewish heritage, uh, uh, the idea of God as a, as a, uh, you know, as a man or as a, as a, you know, personification of what men think God is. He had a very different, very overarching view of what god you know like god is um you can look that up it's very fascinating his his letter about specifically about that sold at an auction for something like 2.4 million dollars uh because he wrote a letter on that i mean that's fine i guess someone's there but so zoism so zo is just life it's the universe it's this thing it's the zo the force you can say zo is the force and the force is so those things are interchangeable in our concept and understanding of them zoism goes a step further and does establish an idea uh, an overall all idea of creation of the universe life after death and uh and that godhood uh like kind of defining the zo a little bit however you don't have to subscribe to that. And then what does that do? It opens it up. If Disney comes in here, shuts us down, you can go to Zoism because we you don't have the Jedi circle, but you have the cycle of illumination, which is very similar. <laughs> it's very similar. It's 25 points. Uh, it still covers meditation and the physical expression of Zo and, and things of this nature. It is uh, basically that out. <laughs> It means you don't have to give up living your life in a certain way. And this channel doesn't have to shut down. We just shift from Jediism to Zoism and not much would really change. Instead of saying, feel the force, you would be like, feel the Zo. That's, you know, what it is. So Zoism, uh, there's history there. There's history with the name Zoism. There's history where that kind of like religious idea comes from. There's a lot of history. I'm working on a book. I'm working on a Zoism book. It's kind of far down the list on where we're getting at, uh, but I'm working on a book that does cover all of Zoism and its practices and things of that nature, including holidays, because any good religion has holidays and a reason to get out of work. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Jedi Book Club monthly video slash meetings. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. 
Uh, I've thought about it. It was when I first did the Patreon, I think it was back in 2017 or something like that. That was actually one of the tiers uh, that we did. Uh, the real problem with that is finding a, a time and a, and a date that works for everybody to, to kind of participate and, and be involved in. No pressure on video ideas. <laughs> you do just give in some content ideas. I oh, They're always uh, appreciated because that gives me an idea of what people want to want to see it's that old uh it's that old analogy like back at they tell you in school if you have a question ask because one student asking is usually asking for four other students that just uh for whatever reason don't want to raise their hands or or you know anxiety or something like that right so if one person's asking it's usually asking for four people <laughs> so it's fine so if you have ideas you're probably not the only one uh so feel free to voice it and if it's something we're working on, if it's something that I'm doing, you know, even better, right? Uh, so absolutely. Variety of content is what we do here. So we'll probably be doing fun stuff like that. Uh, only thing I ask of you, if you haven't yet, check out Alan Watts. I feel he describes the Jedi way. Depending on where you go uh, on Jedi, like if you join the Jedi community, not something I technically recommend, but if you do, like everybody, you know, has their own thing but if you do uh some places like make it mandatory that you gotta check out watts i've checked out watts just because i got into buddhism back when i was around 18 19 years old and, and went to a temple and stuff like that and of course if you're if you're from southern california and you're you're starting to get into that buddhism thing you're gonna you're gonna run into you're gonna run into alan watts's material in one way or another also I would recommend grabbing a couple. There's a go on Spotify, look up some of his lo-fi stuff, right? Like, I mean, obviously it's not him. Obviously Alan Watts didn't make lo-fi stuff, but there's artists out there who incorporate some of his speeches and some of his talks and such into their music. And, and that's fun. So absolutely. Uh, Alan Watts, I've, I've read, uh, I don't think I actually have any of his books in my library currently. But I have read, listened to uh, a few of his lectures and definitely dug into on, you know, relations. Him, Joseph Campbell. I mean, there's like a list of, you know, you have to Dowdy Ching is there's like certain <laughs> texts that if you've been in the Jedi community for so long. And of course, I've been in the Jedi community. Or to, I don't know, over 20 years. Over 20 years. I can I don't know if the exact, but uh definitely over 20 years. So they're like you're gonna run into materials that of course uh people recommend. And yeah, there's always similarities and there's always things. So um and it's always fun to explore that, especially with Zoism is one of the things that I really like because you get to move away from the force in that context and and because the zoe is so open right like no one uses that terminology it's not when you search for it you're not really going to get anything else right and because of that you get to really just kind of how does this tie in with this thing over here and that over there and there's the concept of flow and then there's this other concept of flow which both flow into the idea of the force or of the zo and then you have other concepts of willpower and how that kind of that is the zo and and things like that so it, there's a lot of fun in, in exploring all that stuff would you consider making a video on zoism if you haven't already absolutely uh absolutely i've been meaning to for a while the reason i've been putting off on it is because one it's pretty new I don't mean like Zoism, like the history of it. I mean, there's history. It goes back to a, about the 19th century, early, early uh, 20th century. There is history there. And then, of course, there's more recent history. But again, it's not known and stuff like that. But for what I'm building and, and what we're creating with Zoism, it's really fresh. It's really new. So I'm still trying to cement you know, that foundation. I think one of the problems with the Jedi community when it first started was there was no foundation and everything. It was very, it was built on sand. Like everything was built on sand because we were, we we're making it up as we, we, as we were going right. In, in the early days of the Jedi community. 
And so I've been really cautious about not doing that with Zoism until we have kind of a solid foundation. The cycle of illumination is a really good foundational piece, but I want to make sure that I've really gone through it myself and that I've re that it's really that it really passes the APBP test, you know, that it really is applicable, practical, beneficial, and positive. I really want to make sure that the foundation is set uh, for it before I really start pushing it. And I want to make sure that there's resources out there for it. So if people are interested in Zoism, I want them to have a place to go where they can kind of explore it and dig into the text and things like that and, and do that. Whether, even if it's just the book, you know, uh, that I'm working on, I would, I want people to have something tangible that they can really explore the path with before I really do it. But I, I but I do plan on making videos on, on Zoism. And obviously I'm always happy to talk about it and to, to explore it with, with all of you on any video that we have an open, open forum with. Uh, Joseph Campbell was the other half of it. I like that part better. Uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, I don't like his, writing. <laughs> I find him a very dry uh, author, uh, but, uh, and there's, and you know, there's critics and there's critiques to be made, but uh, there's some definitely like the importance of understanding commonality and similarities and, and kind of tearing down glass walls and seeing the interconnectedness of human experience and the way that we kind of tell our stories as humans and throughout history and different cultures all kind of have this underlying, uh, you know, idea of what we experience and how we go through things. It's important to understand that connectedness, especially in today's society where things are very divisive. Like it's very divisive out there right now. And it's important to kind of have those materials that remind us that while certain people have a uh, different... We, you know, everybody has different struggles and some people disproportionately so that there is an element when we break that society, addressing society is like a totally different thing than spiritual and, and human, you know, interaction. Cause society has a lot of, a lot of things that, that need to be addressed between power and politics and corruption and all that, like all that stuff. Right. That's why we have Jedi vs. Society videos. Society has all these issues, but we as individuals, we as human beings, we, when we get down to the meat of it, we understand that oh, that's all glass wall stuff. That's all means of control and things like that. People trying to hang on to power and, and, and how that affects other people. And when we break it down, we see that like if we can get past that and we can acknowledge people's cultures and appreciate their cultures and appreciate differences, then we can start to see the similarities and we can start to share those as well and share our appreciation for the differences and share the appreciation for the similarities and kind of just be encouraging of one another and respectful of one another and really just like learning and growing together and moving in a new direction with that foundational knowledge of who we are and where our cultures come from and where our heritage comes from and things of that nature. And we can move in that. So, and Joseph Campbell is a big part of kind of like pushing that movement of let's look at, let's look at our commonalities. Let's look at the things that throughout time and throughout cultures, we've, we've kind of had a similar human experience and journey, right? Journey. What do you think about the similarities and differences between Jediism and Buddhism? Uh, what do I think? I think it's, I think, I think they're, I mean, I think they exist. <laughs> I think that, I think that it's all about spirituality and personal growth and whatever path you take to the mountaintop, right? Whatever path that you feel uplifts you, whatever path that you feel um, elevate you just a bit higher for your own personal, speaking on your own personal, uh, you know, journey and, and who you are as a person, then that's great. Then that's great. Uh, the differences are, are pretty clear are tend to be differences on restrictions, on actions, on, on what you're allowed to do. Right. You know, with Buddhism, there's very strict, uh, if, 
but it's tiered out if you're a layman if you're a monk if you're which which branch of buddhism are you following you know those kind of things each one has you know different sutras and and and, and things that you have to learn and follow and things of that if with jediism you have a much more open fluid way to explore all those concepts and their similarities but i think uh i think there's things that get lost in translation like i feel like buddhism the way that they talk about compassion is a bit different than the way jediism tries to talk about compassion uh, i'm not a big fan of the word compassion in general i'm but that's like it's that's a semantic issue really <laughs> it's semantic because we do talk about compassionate acts being kind empathy being of service things of that nature um understanding that everybody's kind of struggling in a different way you know like very few people in this world are actually good you know everybody is kind of one bad day away from just how 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 sideways it goes you know so definitely uh there's similarities there's differences but that's true of all things i think comparison is the thief of joy and i think it's about finding what speaks to you and going in that direction and that might be taking a little here a little there and not really ad ad adhering to either one and not using either label and just being like ah, i took a little from judaism took a little from buddhism took a little from from an abrahamic faith over here or took a little from this i took a little from like fine you know you don't have to use any label you can take whatever you want like peace knowledge serenity harmony right all, none of that belongs to any singular belief or path. Uh, meditation doesn't belong to any singular belief or path. You know, physical wellness doesn't belong to any single path out there. So it's really just about what speaks to you, what encourages you, what is the inspiration that drives you to keep up the lifestyle more, and what label do you just feel fits. One of the things I say is we don't call other people Jedi who don't own that label because that's disrespectful of the label that they do claim. But it's also you have to recognize that part of being a Jedi, part of following Jediism or Zoism or Buddhism is choosing that label. You personally identify with this label and we need to honor that. We need to respect that. If someone identifies as a Jedi, respect it, you know, if they if they are living by it. Same with like Buddhism and, and, and anything else, you know, uh, we don't, we don't just hand out the title unless someone's, you know, grabbing it. Sorry. Sith a power. Okay. Uh, hang on, hang on. Cause I see you, I, I fried Doritos. I see you made a, a another thing and I'm going to get to you and I'll get to your question. I promise. I'll get to your question. Um, I think there's a lot of a lot more similarities, uh, Jediism and Taoism, than Buddhism. They're not without that too. Uh, I find it odd that not many talk about it. Depends what circle you 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 run in, right? Again, been a part of the Jedi community for quite a while, and it, it really is like depending on what circles. And again, not that's not an endorsement for joining. <laughs> uh, just saying that it really depends on what circles you run in. Uh, some people really really. Uh, like the Taoist angle and follow the Tao Te Ching and feel like, and I've seen it rewritten for Jedi like several times over the years. I've seen, you know, I've seen that done. Uh, so yeah. And, you know, I actually think there's a book out there. I would, I don't recommend it. I do own it. I own the digital version. I don't recommend it. And I'm not going to mention it by name or the author because rewriting the Tao Te Ching with the words like mass Jedi master and the force is not something I can don't can don't as uh as anything but no there, there are similarities there too uh again it's how far you want to get into it Taoism as a religion has some very specific points that you need to follow that do that are not aligned and again it which school you adhere to, which temple you adhere to, has different things. It's uh, it, it gets very. Uh, somebody at my school was making. F oh, wait, before I get to that, hang on. What is this? Super sticker. Uh, Joe Costa. Uh, Joe Costa. Very first, technically the first of twenty 
21 Patreon supporters. Thank you, Joe Costa, for that. And and throwing out a super sticker. Uh, humbled. I appreciate it. Shame on you. <laughs> Since I... Since we're uh, a little more than just uh, uh, YouTube faces, I'm all, I'm all, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I do appreciate that. I really do. That always messes me up. But <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, somebody at my school is making fun of me for being a Sith. What should I do? Uh, I think you should, you know, well, I mean, what, what do I think you should do? I think you should mediate on that. You know, I think you should, uh, I think you should follow the Jedi circle on that. I think you should, uh, you have to, you, you have to answer that. What does your philosophy say? You know, I mean, people are going to make fun of people no matter what they're always going to find something to make fun of other people about. It's rarely about the thing that they're making fun of. The real thing to understand about people in school making fun of you. It's rarely about that. It's rarely, it's rarely even about you. It's rarely even about you. It's often just about whatever that person's going through and they're trying to gain some control, uh, trying to in their life. And, if they feel they can pick on or, you know, uh, if maybe something happened to them, maybe they're getting yelled at, um, they're getting made fun of, they're getting berated. And so they internalize that. And then that comes out to others. It's called the transition of anger. Uh, it's been well documented throughout the years. Like, you know, uh, husband yells at wife, wife yells at Son, son yells at pet. That kind of transference of power and, and and anger and how it just kind of, it always goes until someone chooses to break the cycle. Choose to break the cycle. Break your chains. You're a Sith. You're a Sith. That's what you're claiming, right? You follow the Sith code. Then break your chains. Break your chains. That's all it is. And you do that by breaking the cycle, by being above it, by seeing it for what it is, by understanding that that one person's existence is, is not an indictment on you and that you can live in a manner that you feel is befitting. Don't, don't listen to people. You know what? People in school, they want to make fun of you. They want to talk crap. Do you know how many people I remember from my school? I was picked on. I was bullied in school. I was made fun of in school. Do you know how many people's names I remember of that? None. Do you know if I ran into those people in the streets, what I would think of them? I wouldn't even recognize them and vice versa. Ain't nobody cares. School gets over with. And the sooner you can recognize that, the sooner you can realize that these people mean nothing to the grand scheme of where your life is going and where your life is going to be. You can take a certain approach to it. Your own answer will come to you when you realize None of this matters in a long time. I'm going to go here. What are you going to do with your life? If you want to be a Sith, you want to talk about empowerment, you want to talk about what direction you want to go, then you need to consider what direction are you going? Where do you want to be when you're 20 years old? Where do you want to be when you're 30 years old? How are you going to get there? What is the job? What is the career you're looking to do? How are you looking to spend your life? What are you looking to spend your life on? What do you love to do? Where's your passion? Sith, right? Where's your passion at? What what is what what are you passionate about? What is that thing that makes you happy? What is that thing that that really just provides you know that context in your life that really makes you like oh I enjoy this? Go focus on that. Go do that. What some person at school is gonna make fun of you about being a Sith? Me? Go play some Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Who cares about that? Because in five years, in ten years, what are these people? It's, and you can tell them that I mean, you don't have to sit there and take it. You can be like, ah, that's funny. That's funny. That's hilarious, man. Ah, you're right. You got me. I'm a Sith. I'm going to break these chains right now. I'm going to tell you, I don't care. I'm going to tell you what you're saying right now doesn't affect me at all. What you're saying here, you think you have some power, some control. You think you're doing something to me. You're doing nothing. You have no power here. I'm a Sith. Power is my own. I'm a Sith. My power is my own. Ergo, there's nothing you can do to me. There's nothing. 
you can say that's going to remove my power because I get to make my choices. I've broken my chains. The force has set me free. So you can say what you want. You can laugh. You can giggle. We can laugh all day. I'll talk Star Wars all day at you. I'll talk Sith philosophy all day at you. But guess what? I'm going to, we're going to leave school and I'm going to go do the things I love. I'm going to go do the things I'm passionate about because that's how a Sith lives. We embrace our passions. I'm passionate about playing this video game. I'm passionate about hiking in the hills. I'm passionate about meditation. I'm passionate about this. So I'm going to go do those things and you can just sit there and laugh and do it. You can't worry about people. That's psychopathic material right there, my friend. You don't want to go down that road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume here that you just did that for shock value. Because if you are doing that, that just means you're taking your anger. That ain't Sith. That's not Sith. That means you're hurt. And you are you are inflicting your pain upon a creature which you feel you can control. You're trying to pick on something weaker than you. That's not true, Sith. Sith don't pick on the weaker. That's no power there. There's no honor there. There's no passion or strength or victory on picking on someone who's weaker than you. A true Sith protects. A true Sith is above that pettiness. So next time, uh, you know, no, no. You want to kill. You want to do that. That's weak. That's weak. That shows that you have been chained down. You have not broken your chains, my friend. You are stuck in a cycle of pain, and you have not freed yourself. So, nope, your philosophy's off, my friend. You got work to do. You got work to do. I love your stuff, dude. I'm good. Well, you've, thank you for supporting me, truly. And hopefully we get to do more stuff, right? Um, we're going to do this together. So anyways, yeah, yeah, you want to talk Sid, I would, uh, boom, boom, there's someone who, who knows it for real. So yeah, uh, thank you for your answer to my question. Anytime, that's what I'm here for. We are going way past my hour mark here, but you know, whatever, we're in this, we're in it to win it now, I guess. I would suggest not hurting yourself or animals ever, as I'm sure everyone here does not condone such behavior. We do not. Jedi definitely do not. It is absolutely against the Jedi way to harm others, uh, to hurt yourself, to hurt others, to hurt animals. Uh, Jedi are about respecting and honoring life in all its forms. We are about protection. We are about uh, defending those in need, being a voice for the voiceless. And Sith Jedi doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what spectrum of the force you, you side on. True strength comes from within and true strength uh is about understanding the pain within yourself and not inflicting it upon others but taking in your pain and sitting with it and breaking it down why am i angry why am i feeling this way why do i want to hurt others where is that coming from and breaking it down uh in that way you know for jedi we have the jedi method right jedi intention plus jedi action equals Jedi outcome. And absolutely nowhere in there is it about hurting others or hurting yourself. It is about healing. It is about growing. It's world betterment through self-betterment. You work on yourself, you grow strong, then you are able to handle anything this world, this universe throws at you. And that's where true strength comes from. And that's all internal. That's all here. That's that's all here. It, all that outward stuff, the struggles you're going to face, the challenges you're going to face, the people who are going to come at you, the people who are going to try to tear you down. Look, if someone's trying to pull you down, it means they're below you. So that means you need to stay on your level and stay true to what you believe in. True strength is about it. It's not about hurting other people and it's not about hurting yourself. It's not about inflicting pain. Inflicting pain is a sign of weakness. It is a sign of anger. It is a sign of trauma. It is a sign of I got work to do. And I know, I know because I used to be angry too. I used to lash out too. I used to hurt others too when I was young and dumb. And, and I hadn't worked on myself. And I didn't live and I didn't have a philosophy to live by. 
Sith is appealing, but you have to understand, look, you want to hang on to Sith philosophy. I ain't going to tell you no again. Many paths to the mountaintop. I ain't going to tell you no, but you need to understand what it truly means. And you have to understand what that what, what the teachings are really telling you. And they are not about just inflicting pain. And they're, they're absolutely uh, not. Agreed. I don't think it's funny or cool at all. No, uh, it is not. Don't harm yourself or others, including animals. Absolutely true. Jedi respects uh, things in all life. So I should have mentioned not academic Taoism, not the religion. It was it was uh, before it became a religion. The Yang Yin, the balance of opposites, you know, just saying I'm not the religious Taoist. That's fair. There's some history in uh religious Taoism that you do not want to be associated with. But, you know, I find a religion that that doesn't have a sordid history there. That's why I kind of like Zoism. We can kind of build it from the ground up and hopefully avoid all that that, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, the idea of balance of opposites, we do see that in The Last Jedi, right? In Star Wars, where we see the symbol of the prime Jedi where it does have that yin yang kind of uh, feel to it of the balance of uh, duality, but as a whole, right? It's always a whole. It's not two sides, right? You know, it's the whole. It's, yeah, I like it. Um, but yeah. Personally, I'm more of a mobile suit Gundam fan. Uh, I've known people like that in the community. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I get it. I was like, hey, love your fandom. <laughs> Nerd out about whatever you love. Um, embrace it. Have fun with it. It's, it's important to, to do that. On this channel, we're all about uh, embracing nerd culture and using it in a positive way, though. But using it in a positive way. So, so you know, become, become that. Uh, is the band hand asking for a friend? Yes, it's always an option, um, but teachable moments, teachable moments. Uh, I think, I think it's better sometimes to address uh, things and allow for growth and allow for discussion. Then uh, there are certain things that I will not tolerate. There are certain things that I will absolutely think. But if we can, if we can put out a positive message, if we can encourage positive. Uh, understanding of philosophy and how that applies to everyday life and that you know i want people to feel free to speak their minds uh and then but understand that once you speak you will be addressed and you've got to be ready for that uh if it's if it becomes clear if we're if we're dealing with just straight up um if we're just dealing straight up you know with a troll or something of that nature, then, then, then that's fine. But it's okay for people to come in and try to be disruptive. That's fine. As proven, I will happily rant for what, 10 minutes, <laughs> eight minutes, 10 minutes, uh, on, on that subject. Uh, we can turn it into philosophy. We can turn it into what is actual. Change. So yes, there is a band hammer <laughs> option. I can chunk people out but I do look for teachable moments and, you know, uh, it has worked. It has worked before. Sometimes Jedi philosophy, sometimes Jedi diplomacy uh, has actually changed minds, right? And in this day and age, that's rare. So I like to give it a shot first. If we can do it, that's awesome. Uh, if not, you know, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. All good. All good. Ty typos happen all the time. You should read my stuff. Um, but yeah, the Jedi circle is great, OB. It's really something to inspire to live by. So the cycle of illumination and the new Jedi circle, I don't know which Jedi circle you're referring to because there's different versions <laughs> that have existed over the years. Uh, I'm, I don't know which one you feel is great. Uh, there's different opinions floating around. Some people really don't like the version that I like, which is the newest version with the five goals. Uh, but I really feel that it helps solidify what we're looking for, right? When we're exploring Jedi philosophy, people people want to say, and this happened recently. I got into this debate recently. People want to say Jedi is this 
uh, whatever you say Jedi is. And I'm like, no, Jedi has a very core to it, right? But when we're talking about Jedi philosophy, that core exists. Now, as I like to say on this channel, Jedi philosophy is a box. It is a big box. There's a lot of diversity in that box. There's a lot of different opinions in that box, but Jedi philosophy is a box. It's still a box. There's parameters. There's boundaries you cannot cross. And once you do cross them, no longer Jedi or in unJedi like behavior or something of that nature, right? But it's uh, the Jedi circle allows us this very broad but boxed system. It gives us the parameters of what it means to be a Jedi. Uh, I like the newest version. So, bam. On May the 4th, I'm having a private ceremony making Jedi vows, reading over maxims, the Jedi circle, the Jedi code, and some Jedi meditation, then the Bad Batch. Bad Batch is coming out. Who's excited about the Bad Batch? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to watch it. It's coming out May the 4th, the course. It's the best way you could have done it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Definitely sounds like a good time. Good use of time. If you got the time. Okay. Fair enough. Teachable moments. Absolutely. That's all we can do. Uh, teachable moments is awesome. Yeah, that's all we can, you know, there it is. All right, everybody, we have been here for over an hour. The newest version of the Jedi Circle. That's the one I like. Uh, it's one that I hope, again, we talked about it earlier in the stream. If I can find a self-publishing uh, method or, or or system that allows me to make like something fun, like we were talking about with this, bigger than this, much bigger than this. But at the same time, uh, maybe this is about the size that I'd be looking. This is about the size that I kind of want to make a Jedi Circle book in. Uh, is about this size and because it, this fits in my back pocket. So this is about the size of uh, a Jedi book that I, I really want to make, but I haven't found a platform that allows me to make one in this size. So, uh, but with the Patreon set up, depending on how that goes, we might be able to get an opportunity to make something because if it actually takes off and that's, I know that's, delusion to grandeur level but if it actually takes off we might actually be able to go to a um to a specific publisher or someone who makes books you know for you but you have to pay like it's expensive to pay where you know where you actually have to pay for them to put it together and stuff but they do options like this like that this size but um so if we take off and we're able to do that then yeah um but this is uh, this is about the size that I'm looking for for a Jedi Circle book for the updated version. I think we could have a lot of fun with that. Um, so if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, because I'm gonna about I'm about to close this thing off. Unless uh, anybody else uh, questions, comments, go live as soon as I get off of work. Nice. <laughs> uh, we're still I'm still trying to work on a schedule that works for for a lot of people, but um, yeah trying to get trying to connect with everybody as best as possible get everybody a chance to jump in here and be a part of this community and explore jedi philosophy together all right anybody have any questions comments concerns whether it's about a review of the tiny book of jedi or anything that we've talked about or are we gonna wrap this up? it's already been an hour and 20 minutes man come on I wish I had the Jeopardy theme song here. Play it. See what we're doing. Uh, any questions, comments, anything that people have that want to say before we dip out? I always get you. You know, typing takes a while. Really? Uh, uh, thank you for this. I'm always excited to see what you're up to and where things are going. Thank you, Aurelia. Um, trying to keep things going, you know, trying to keep things going just because, you know, I dipped out of other stuff doesn't mean, um, yeah, as someone said earlier, I'm definitely not, uh, not quitting, just transferring what, how we're doing things I'm trying to evolve and grow and make sure that we're always using new mediums and that we're, we're expanding our, our audience and reach and, and doing new and fun things. So, uh, so yeah, um. I'm always happy. I'm always happy when you can um, join Ray Leah, even though that's not how it's quite pronounced, but whatever. 
Uh, <laughs> but I'm always excited. I was just saying, yeah, I would give that time. Maybe I'll, I'll pull that up sometime. Maybe we'll, we'll do it that way. Uh, can't think of anything. Just vibing. Thank you for doing this. I'm excited to see whatever comes next. Um, me too, because I have no, no idea. I just pretend like I know what I'm doing here. I'm making it all up as I go. <laughs> but hopefully we have uh, videos on a regular schedule. Uh, we'll definitely have more live streams. I'm going to try to make these much more, you know, normal events, uh, even if it's just gaming. Cause that way you're not just staring at, at this, you know, like we can, uh, we'll do the gaming and it also allows us to explore the philosophy is to explore the Jedi fiction and things of that nature. So, uh, so yeah, uh, uh Thank you, Obi. It's this has been great. Always happy to. I'm glad you could join. I'm glad everybody here could join us. I'm glad 100. I'm really happy for everybody who has joined over this time. I'm glad you could be here. This includes the people who are watching later on. I'm really glad everybody who, who who who's here and has been able to take part. Excited for the future. Me too. Me too. No idea what's going to happen. Maybe nothing changes, but who knows? Who knows where we go? Or think. Let me check my book binding stuff. I may be able to help. Hey, let me know. Uh, you could always leave me a comment. I always see the comments. Doesn't matter how old the video is or anything like that. The way YouTube works uh, currently, you can leave a comment on any video and and that and uh, or you know Patreon. If you I don't know if you're like join that, but if you do, you could also hit me up with a message there. Let me know. Uh, you can get a hold of me there. Absolutely. Uh, let me know how how it goes. I don't know how to pronounce either. Lee Lay Lai. Whatever. Yeah, Ray Leah. That's a that's what I'm going with. So, you know, but <laughs> gaming plus philosophy sounds like an awesome idea. It's definitely what I'm doing more of currently. We are currently stuck on Star Wars the Old Republic, is where we're exploring philosophy and gaming and the you know Jedi philosophy versus Jediism, if you will. Uh, and just like app, like application, is this really light side? Is this a really dark side decision? We explore those, you know, light side points, dark side points, and, and we explore the philosophy behind what decisions are we making? This character is going to make this decision. Is that really, is that really, you know, is that in line with our philosophy? Is that in line with Jedi philosophy? Things like that. So we're, we're exploring currently through that, but it is going to expand into other games in the future game a lot of philo game philosophy i don't even know how to say that i ain't gonna try stop it stop it uh star wars uh the old republic is a great way to explore jedi philosophy i i agree we are currently on the jedi knight storyline is what we're going through but also doing the random quest as well which is uh will provide content unless we change that on uh, Patreon vote or something like that. We are currently exploring all the quests, side quests, exploratory quests, things of that nature to explore the philosophy in there, the decision makings and things of that nature. Um, we have a few of those on the channel. You can look them up <laughs> there. They're there. Uh, I might put them on to a playlist to make it easier to look up and, and to go through them. But uh, I'm pretty horrible at it because every once in a while we get on a topic and the character just sits there <laughs> as I do this, as I pontificate on some philosophical nonsense. And the gameplay doesn't really flow <laughs> sometimes. But uh, but that is uh, something we are doing and exploring. And we are going to include other games in the future, including uh, Jedi Fallen Order is something I think we'll get when I'm able to expand in devote more time uh to the channel itself obviously i still hold down a full-time job and that's 40 hours a week that i gotta put into all that and then you know come in you know come do all this stuff so once i'm able to shift that around maybe and devote more time here we're absolutely going to add to that uh game and philosophy there's a couple videos on the channel where i've explored fictions philosophy where we've explored how philosophy uh, fits into various fiction, uh, including Star Wars, but also video games and, and different movies and stuff like that. It's all, all, all there.
So it's definitely something we're doing. It's definitely something that's going to happen on this channel. It's definitely, <laughs> we're just, uh, as I said earlier, I don't focus on any one thing. I'm very scattered brained, if you will. I very much like variety. So we jump around from meditations to musical compilations to philosophy to gaming to just nerd stuff like me, uh, you know, spewing off my love for the Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition that's come out. I love that trilogy. So, you know, things like that. Uh, the new Moon Knight comic book series that's coming out. I love that. Uh, same with Dark Hawk is going to have a future uh, they've said, they've hinted at. So, like, things like that. Like, a whole bunch of nerd culture, a whole bunch of stuff. We're all in it. We're all we're all there, man. Uh, Light Sith, Light Side Sith is a very fun storyline in that game too. Yeah, I love doing that as well. A playlist would be fantastic. All right, I'll I'll go through it. It won't be hard to to grab those and and put them into a you know specific uh, playlist. Fallen Order, uh, great game. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm horrible at kind of platform like games. Like, oh. I don't think anybody here who's a gamer would stand would be able to stand me watching that. <laughs> there was one where you're going down a slide and you have to slide and you come across and you jump and you grab onto a rope and you continue to slide, right? And I just whoop die, whoop die, whoop die. And it was like 20 times of dying on that one spot until I finally got it. It was no one here would like that. Uh Never played it. What platform is it on? Fallen Order, I believe, is on just about every platform out there. Uh, and I know it's. they recently announced that it's coming to next-gen consoles. If anybody's got that kind of budget, I don't. But if anybody has that budget, uh, I know it's coming out there. But PS4, uh, Xbox One, computer, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty much on uh, all platforms currently. Oh, Star Wars, I mean. Um, whoops. Uh, that's a computer-based. Computer-based? Yeah, it's fully computer-based. They never ported it over to any console. So it's 100. You can find it on Steam. If you uh, if, if you use Steam, you can find it on Steam, or you can get it yourself. It's all PC-based. Uh, Star Wars is all. Star Wars The Old Republic is all PC-based. Uh, Steam is probably the, the easiest place to, to pick it up. But, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, an hour and 30, <laughs> an hour and 30. All right, guys, I need food. I have not eaten <laughs> except for the granola bar that I tried to crunch down but five minutes before I started streaming, which proved to be a bad idea. Um, all right, everybody, I'm going to head out of here. Once again, thank you, everybody who joined. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, previous, current, all of it, if those that afterwards or watching this on on youtube after it's put up really appreciate all your support all of you people who donated i really appreciate that it's uh it blows me away um stop it <laughs> go join the patreon if you want to support uh <laughs> um and we're doing stuff there so thank you everybody truly 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 uh i appreciate everybody being here and and doing that uh i was afk dinner Hopefully I didn't miss anything fantastic. No, just talking about Star Wars, The Old Republic, that nonsense. But uh, dinner is good. I should go eat. Uh, Dakota <laughs> Field as, uh, yeah, go eat. I should do that. And I still have videos to work on. I still have content to create. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I still got the Patreon page to work on, man. I got stuff to do. Can we get a heart in the chat for Obi and the Great Street? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Uh, it's not as good as some of the stuff. I know you're a fantastic cook, so you know we'll see what I we'll see what I can cook up. Uh, may the force be with you always. Absolutely, right back at you. Right, right back at you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh my God! Look at the hearts. Thank you, Skull, for all the hearts. <laughs> all the hearts. Bye, everybody. Going through them all. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm out of here. Go, go eat, Jedi. All right. All right, I'm out of here, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. May the Force be with you. You know where the buttons are. You can leave comments. Yes.